What is up, you horror nerds? It is me, your host, once again, Jeremiah Duncan. Hello! So I've got a cool, cool movie here for you. I don't know if everybody's heard of this, and it doesn't really teeter into the horror, but it does, because people die and people get murdered. And it's, um, but it's not gory. Um, I, it's even rated PG, and I loved it. I know I'm a stickler on the PG-13 horror movies because they don't have enough gore and violence. But this one, being an older film, being PG, is just good. I'm talking about the 1974 Homebodies. It is rated PG, and are you ready for this? Six out of ten. Dun, dun, dun. Yes, so... I just gave a PG movie a 6 out of 10, and here's why. This movie is fun, okay? There's plenty of comedy in there, but it's not over the top. You want the underdog to win. If you aren't familiar with this film, I've got to get you connected to this. A murder a day keeps the landlord away. When six mild-mannered senior citizens are told that their old brownstone is going to be torn down, they don't take the news lightly. Led by a pixie-faced lady, played by uh, Paula Truman, who is in the outlaw Josie Wales, the oldster decides they must exert gray power and take action. After a line plotting and a little plotting and planning, they become an oddly lovable assortment of hitmen, carefully getting rid of those who would attempt to disrupt their lives. This hilarious horror story from director. Larry Yust, who uh, directed Trick Baby, will not only make you laugh, it'll also make you look twice at that sweet old lady who lives next door. Peter Bracco, who was in One Flew Over the Cuckoo's Nest. Francis Fuller, who was in They Might Be Giants. William Hansen, who was in The Laughing Policeman. Ruth McDevitt, who was in TV's Colock, The Night Stalker. And Ian Wolfe, who was in Witness for the Prosecution, round out the cast of... Uh, pensioners. Beautifully photographed by Isidore Mankowski, who did Somewhere in Time. Now, it was shot in five weeks. Some of it was in Cincinnati. Some of it was in LA. And just to tell you how cool this film is, like, I watched this film and I loved it. And I thoroughly enjoyed it. And I loved seeing the old people murder people because they want to keep their home. They don't want to move. How dare these multi-million dollar people push us around? We deserve to be here. And I love that. Just to tell, so I watched it. And just to tell you how great this film is, Elvira featured this film on her show. Okay. That is how great it is. That's why you need to know it. It originally aired on Elvira's TV show, January 28th, 1984. And at that time, it was nine years old, and she thought it rocked. And I trust her, okay? It's Elvira. You've got to check this movie out. It's a fun one. You can even watch it with the kids because it's PG, and it's not real brutal. I mean, there's killing, but, you know, teach his own. I don't think it's that big of a deal. It's not gory. It's not going to give him nightmares because it's a sweet little old lady, unless that's their babysitter. But anyway, homebodies! 1974, rated PG, 6 out of 10, great film. Check it out. If you've seen it, comment below. I'd love to hear your thoughts on it. Like, subscribe, bing, hit that death bell for notifications. Stick around. I've got more reviews coming to you lately. Let's get you connected to a movie that you never heard of. Be awesome. That's what I want. Stick around.